Good afternoon. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have this lunchtime had a private meeting with the parents of the three men killed during last week's riots. Harun Jahan, Shahzad Ali and Abdul Musavir were mown down by a car as they tried to protect businesses from looters. Our reporter Kath Mackey is in Winston Green for us now. Kath. Uh, Suzanne, the Duke and Duchess of, Duchess of Cambridge are still inside here at Summerfield Centre. They arrived around about midday. It's supposed to be a low-key private event, but there are an awful lot of press here, as you would expect, and a small crowd is beginning to gather. They were met by dignitaries, including the Chief Constable of the West Midlands, Chris Sims, and as you say, their first port of call was, was with the families of the three men who were killed during the riots in Winston Green last week, uh, Harun Jahan, Shazad Ali and Abdul Musavir. They spent about 20 minutes with the family. Uh, the family came out afterwards. They didn't want to speak to the press, needless to say, they looked very solemn. Uh, and the Duke and Duchess are now working their way round the room, uh, meeting emergency services and a lot of people who were caught up in these riots. With me now is Derek Campbell, who's the National Advisor on Youth Crime and Antisocial Behaviour. Derek, you were one of those inside. What did the couple have to say to you? They were very concerned about what had happened. They really wanted to be here to sort of press the flesh and to talk to the people who were on the ground, the emergency services and those who were supporting the police in trying to bring peace and calm to our streets. And what sort of things were they being told about what happened? They were told about the type of work that we were doing, the planning that went into, into trying to bring uh, calm to the streets. And they were just, you know, very moved by the level of commitment and sacrifice by the secure, uh, emergency services and by those of us in the community who were prepared to work with the police, etc., to try and, you know, restore order to the streets. What sort of impact will a visit like this have, do you think? significant impact when you when you have a national crisis and you see our national leaders making the effort to, to come and be here and to be seen not just tokenistically but to show genuine concern that's going to have a massive impact on people's morale and it will help us to be set back on the road to recovery and you know as you can see there's many people coming just to see and to probably get a glimpse of them all in all it's been a significant visit and very important to the area will it go some way as well to sort of bringing Birmingham back to some sort of sense of normality we're resilient in the West Midlands We've been through our ups and our downs over the many years. We have our fallouts now and again, but it certainly has gone a long way to help us get back to normality and to move forward in a positive way. Derek, thanks very much. And we are expecting the couple to come out any minute soon. We'll bring you the latest at 6.30 on Midlands Today. Back to you. Kath, thanks very much indeed for that. Well, meanwhile, West Bromwich Town Centre came to a standstill this morning as shoppers and traders remembered the three men murdered in Winston Green. On the stroke of 11 o'clock, a two-minute silence was observed as the community paid their respects. Sarah Falkland reports. Silence. Not something you come across often in West Bromwich Market. There are over 70 traders here and the patter is important. But it was traders who approached police and the council asking for a moment's silence for the three men mown down in Winston Green last week. I'm delighted that there's been this spontaneous response to something which has obviously touched a lot of people's hearts and, uh, and such a positive response of, of everyone wanting to come together and show how important it is to be together in West Bromwich. And so they stood in silent tribute. Just down the road, the wife of an Indian sweet shop owner holding the fort, her husband away, sorting out the van which they lost to the rioters at the height of the troubles last Tuesday. Some say tensions here are still high because of desperate poverty. Young people haven't got enough jobs. They, they need jobs. In, in order to uh, live in society now, you've got to get 26 grand a year or more. 26 grand a year jobs, yeah, there ain't no 26 grand a year jobs. People were very taken back by what happened just up the road uh, with, with the riots, but uh, yeah, I think we're getting back to normal and I'm very pleased about that. Many people scared to pass West Bromley to come to West Bromley without us, you know. But it's okay, everywhere is coming up again. The feeling is that this silence today will now have drawn a line under the events of last week and that life and trade here in West Bromwich can get back to normal. Sarah Falkland, BBC Midlands Today in the Black Country. In other news, research.